Welcome back. Only two days left to the trip. Today is gonna be something of leisure. So things are starting to wind down. It's been a blast. A lot of work, a lot of fun. Got a driver that's gonna be pulling up within the next 10 minutes or so. A nice ballroom event. So it's gonna be held in the Ruffles in downtown Dubai or in the uh, Dubai area. Should be fun. So today I decided to pull out something a little special. I bought a couple of new pieces. I bought this Franco piece that was custom cut to the length of my choosing. Beautiful piece, solid gold, 18 carats. And I'm actually considering going back to the souk and buying some gold. I'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering how much it costs out here. Uh, 18 karat gold per gram is around 50 to $54 US. Uh, in the United States, I can't get 14 carats for less than about 65. And what I'm gonna be rocking tonight, I'm gonna be going with this new brand called Sesmir. Actually, it's not a new brand, I, it's new to me. It's from Shajil, fellow YouTuber, great reviewer. I, I had the pleasure and honor of meeting at the event. And this is called Antoxic Oud. This is straight up Oud, guys, like pungent Oud. And yes, that's how I like it. So here we go. I think we're about nine sprays, 13, 15, 27. How many sprays? Doesn't matter. Do I smell like buttholes? Yeah, love it. I love it. So got about five minutes left. Gonna just finish getting ready. Let me show you guys what I decided to rock today. So I decided to go with a nice custom fit tailored navy shirt, some white slacks, and stone. These are a neutral color loafer, tassel loafers. I'm digging it, a little bit different. More, uh, more dressy than the usual outfits I was rocking to the uh, convention, but considering we're going to a ball, this is what we're gonna rock. And just as a final touch to all of this, I'm gonna throw on the business glasses. I'm gonna see if I can sneak you guys in with me and we'll take a look. What the heck is a ballroom event mic in Dubai? Raffles Ballroom at the Fragrance World Dinner Event. Beautiful hall and even more beautiful food. Check it out, the moment of truth. Finally getting a chance to sniff. So I'm gonna hold it down, there we go. Comes off, it does snap into place. Insane. All right. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> no comment. So let's snap it back into place before somebody lifts it up and breaks it. So it does snap back into place. Pineapples, woody birch, creamy with an oriental twist. Yes, it does have an inspired by or a Creed Aventus vibe. Very nice fragrance. And honestly, for the piece alone, yeah, I'm taking it home. Igwa? Igwa? I'm not sure what that means, but let's see what it smells like. Mega Mare. Very nice. Mineral vibe. I definitely get this mineral and leather. It smells like Mega Mare with a twist. A bit sweeter than Mega Mare. It feels slightly more oriental than Mega Mare. So think of that mineral and leather suede with the addition of something oriental like spice. Really don't care too much for Mega Mare, but this one I'd probably wear. Another one, if you guys remember, we had that liquid brune, and the liquid brune was the Altair. So I wonder what Azur Oud is. Let's check it out. Very strong, it smells honestly like Bahur. 
If you like Somali bakhoor, you will love this. It's basically incense and a lot of sandalwood. And that's usually what's used a lot of in uh, Somali bakhoor. So we usually have like a dense base of sandalwoods, um, maybe some saffron, just very, very bright woods and smoke or incense. Very nice. Another one that I didn't put my nose on, Mason Des Reeves. This one's called Elysian. Any ties or relations to Elysium? Let's find out. Whoa. No, very bright, fresh, but woody at the same time. I guess something like vetiver, maybe some tonka in here. If Terry Dermez had an oriental brother, this would be it. Vetiver, citruses, Middle Eastern spices, amazing. This is a freshie with vetiver that I can rock. Something about the oriental spices levels it up for me. Elysian, not bad. Looks a lot like the liquid brune, but different. Different cap, different box. This is pistachio gelato. My God, yeah, strong as fuck. You know what? Am I already wearing the museum piece? What are you talking about? What? Oh, <coughs> yeah, strong as hell. So I'm actually pretty glad I got to try that one. <laughs> really damn strong though, really strong. What a beautiful event. So a lot of these brands actually have these events after uh, a lot of these meetups. Um, there will be another event, if I'm not mistaken, around January or February in Miami. I plan on going there. I will be at Scent Explore, God willing. The perfect music for testing my fragrances. I'm about to start making out with the cap. It smells like a lot of tuberose. Very tuberose-centric, but masculine at the same time. If you like white florals and you're a man, you should think about this. Well, honestly, this is pretty unisex though. Tuberose-based fragrance, not bad. Royal Blend Black. So the one thing that I noticed with the Royal Blend is that the clear one smelled a lot like Angel Share. And this one smells a lot like Pissa's Sava, also known as Latafa's Khamra, but extremely strong. So yeah, they did it, man. They did an original Angel Share, which is the clear one of this. And then they did Gisal's Sava, which is also done by Latafa, AKA Khamra, Royal Blend. So one thing about this fragrance is I swear to God, I was sitting there having dinner and I thought they must be dispensing some kind of fragrance in the air. And I, Cause I can smell Khamra or Angel Share, just this apple pie, cinnamon boozy vibe. And it just hit me. I'm sitting right there. That's my seat right there. And what I was smelling is people putting this on. This stuff is beastly. Legit. So you might want to check this one out. 